Hello everyone and welcome to Harv's World where we are taking a look at the newest mod map on Mod Hub, Wyther Farms by Missy B Farming Solutions. I know a lot of people have been excited about this one and it's definitely a very nice map. I've done a little bit of looking around and there is a lot going on. We've got a lot to take a lot to take a look at today and I'll be honest, it looks good. It looks real good, but you'll make up your own minds. So, with that said, let's get started. According to Missy B, this is a fictitious map based in the UK. Much of this beautiful countryside has recently been evaluated for property development. The map should be suitable for all as it has 33 fields ranging from small to large, plus two pre-built farms and one placeable area in which you can build your own farm opposite the BGA. You'll need to clear that placeable area first, as it is overgrown with trees and shrubs. Shrub, <laughs> trees and shrubs. Trees and shrubs. There's also a sizable area of forestry for those who like to chop down trees. All F. The map features all FS19 features. All inner hedges can be removed to allow for larger fields or ease of access. Cows, pigs, sheep, and chicken are waiting at the main farm. Water and lime are free. The map is seasons ready, it's old production pack ready, it's also new production pack ready, and it is precision farming ready. The newest mod dropped by uh, Giants this past week. So you can do precision farming on this map. It is good to go. Now I am starting a new farmer as I always do, and when you drop into this map, well, you start out on the roof. You've got your grill, a little place to chill, cooler with whatever your favorite beverage is. And this is pretty much the last time you'll see this because, well, until you start the map again, because once you drop down, there's not really any way to get back up there if you want to. But that's neither here nor there because we are starting in the north east corner of the map. And, well, we are at a bale cell point. But, we're nowhere close to our farms. So, with that said, moving right along, like I said, I am starting a new farmer, and the difference between new farmer, farm manager, and start from scratch is money. New farmer, you start with everything. Farm manager, you start with $1.25 million and nothing else, and start from scratch, you get $500,000 and nothing else. So, there you have it. Let's take a look at our fields, shall we? So when we get into this, really good looking map. I like the way it's set up. I like the diagonal lines. You know, it's it's split. Interesting field shapes. Nothing too dramatic like you would expect from a UK map. Uh, very functional. And for our starting farm, we have got this area here. Field 12 field 14 and then cows pigs chickens and sheep all ready to go and if you really want to do cows you're lucky enough that your milk cell point is right next door that's outstanding but even better missy b has done a true service to farming simulator players and given us the biogas plant thank you missy b very much appreciated a bit of a nod to Alien Jim there, I think. He likes to do things like that, too. So, what have we got? Well, as far as crops go, we have all of our standard crops. Nothing new there in particular. As you can see, we've got a mass, a mass of cell points here. I mean, a whole long list. But, we start getting down to the end of this. And... Now we've got other icons down here at the uh, the end of the row, and these are all a nod to the production packs that Miss E.B. mentioned in her description. Now, when she talks about old production pack, there is old production pack on Mod Hub. The old production pack allowed you to place factories that would create hay, uh, pig food, or silage. And those have been slightly outdone now by what's known as the Placeable Factories Pack. The Placeable Factories Pack is the mod that Missy B is referring to 
um, in her description. And those factories allow you to make cheese, flour, sunflower oil, uh, laminated boards, potato chips, sugar, soya drink, barrels, and biodiesel. And that's what we're seeing across the top here. This is potato chips. This is, would be the barrels biodiesel. This is most likely the soya drink. Press board, flour. So, any of you who've been dying to use the placeable factories, well, now there is another map that you can use them on. Mm. And we'll jump back and look at our fields one more time. These are good sized fields. There's a few small ones, but they do range from, from mostly medium to large fields. The prices are not outrageous. They're about what you would expect. In fact, this 37 acre area right here is only $226,000. That's a pretty outstanding price. Got six acres at $38,000. Uh, field 26 and 27 is one of the smaller areas. Um, what's our biggest field? Probably 16, 81 acres, still less than half a million dollars. That's, that's pretty darn spectacular. The field prices are very, very good. Even the forestry areas are reasonably priced. You're not going to pay half a million dollars for a chunk of land up here. So, yeah, in that regard, we are doing exceptionally well. So, let's go take a look at our main farm, shall we? Right here. And we'll just bop down to the chicken coop. We'll get us there the quickest. And you can see this is a wide open farmyard. Now, she has placed a very nice farmhouse for us to live in. One thing to keep in mind, there are no sleep triggers on the map when you come in. No sleep triggers at all, so you'll have to place a sleep trigger if you want to sleep. However, she's got us covered there, and we're going to go over that in just a minute when we start taking a look at equipment. And there's some equipment scattered all over. We've got a nice big silo to start out with up here. We also have... A nice big workshop should be able to get pretty much any piece of equipment through that door so no problems working on your stuff getting it repaired up we've got our chicken coop right here standard chicken coop a bit of a nod to alien Jim I believe it seems as I recall this is in his style very very nice indeed and one thing you'll find out is that your equipment is pretty much scattered all over the map when you start out. Literally all over the map. But it's in a fun way. At least I find it to be a fun way. So we've got our standard pig enclosure right here. And I will say this is animal pen extension friendly. We do have our valves ready to go. Um, this would be our cow pasture right here. Nice big one too. And you can see it's already ready to sell for milk pickup and delivery. And talk about, I mean, if you don't want to raise cattle, you still have a huge, huge cattle pasture here that you can either mow for grass or silage, or you could even plow this out and turn it into a field if you wanted to. Now, one, one thing about this, you cannot sell the animal pens. So we start with every conceivable animal pen on the map including horses but they're in a different area and well you have the the uh, you have the animal pens whether you like them there or not so you can't sell them off nice big slurry tank right here I'm sure this is manure storage here and massive just huge bunker silos very nicely laid out and of course we have to have our sheep sheep right here nicely laid out sheep pasture very well done very well done indeed 
So this is the main starting farm right here. Now, interestingly, if we look at our map down here in the lower left corner, this is the other farm that you're welcome to purchase, pick up, or ignore. However, you're going to end up down here because, well, a lot of your equipment drops in right down here. So like I said, our equipment is all over the map. So this is the other farm area that Missy B was talking about, a secondary farm, if you will. It's got a nice big silo, and this is part of Missy B's grain quid pack, it looks like. These liquid silos here are a bit of a dead giveaway. But this also has the, the farm shop on it, so you can repair equipment down here. Also, if you want to pick this up, you do not own this land outright. And then there is a nice horse pasture right here as well. In standard horse pasture style. So yeah, that is farm number two. Very nice. Very wide open. Lots of area to add stuff. Anything that you want to add, there's plenty of room. Even on the main farm, there's still a lot of room for you to add and, and do what you will. Now, as far as the silos go, um, you cannot sell those either. In fact, why don't we just get to our equipment list so, so we can get that covered. Let's look at our garage. And in the garage, we have got... And this is brilliant also. Great lineup of starting equipment. The, one of the last thing I think sometimes map makers think of is what are we going to start with? Well, Missy V has obviously put some thought into this, which I very much appreciate. So we've got a Fent 724 Vario, the Fent 1050 Vario. Near and dear to my heart. Uh, the Rostelmash 161, the Manitou Telehandler. Nice big agro liner trailer, a header for our harvester. We've got the Vaderstadt 8.3 meter cultivator, the Vaderstadt cedar, a Kuhn sprayer, a Breedall spreader. We've got a couple of mowers, a Pottinger, and a Kuhn. We've got a nice windrower and a very tiny rake. The size of the mowers and the windrower kind of tell me you might want to do a, a rake upgrade, but this tether, or no, this tether, the size of this tether is not quite comparable to the size of the windrower. Just saying. And we start with a nice big square baler. And that's a big deal. Square balers are not cheap to begin with, and that's a nice piece of starting equipment. And then we have a shovel for our telehandler. Very nice, very nice indeed. Now, I'm going to show you some of the mods that Missy B has included. As I said, Missy B and Missy B Farming Solutions has been doing mods for a long time. She's got many on Mod Hub, and I've always enjoyed using them. Enjoyed them a lot. One of the things that she's done exceptionally well are her farm silos, but more than that, she's got a fuel storage tank. A def tank that you can place on your farm. She's this is the grain quid storage pack, and you can download these mods. If you don't want the map, you can still download these mods um, from Mod Hub. But this is specifically designed to hold bulk grains. Well, pretty much anything you want, including all liquids. So she's included liquid tanks there. She's got extensions for those. She's got smaller versions in compact storage and small storage. And she's got a small liquid tank that you can also place on your farm. So Missy P's got a lot going on out there. And that's not all. Also included are a couple of liquid tankers and these liquid tankers will haul anything digestate water herbicide fertilizer diesel they will haul diesel and milk both of these will and that's kind of important because i think she's in a bit of a nod to alien gym i think she's added something to this map that looks interesting um, and we'll talk about that here in just a minute we've got a nice big beat card here if you're a 
Beat Aficionado. That's a pretty slick uh, piece of equipment right there. And we've got a fuel storage tank, and then we've gone through all of her silos. She's got a large racking system if you want somewhere to organize and store tools for your front loaders. And we've got this small liquid tank. And then she's got her sheds in here that are available with the map. Also, all available to download directly from ModHub. And then she adds the farmhouse doormat, which I've only ever seen from Alien Gym. So it's nice to see someone else coming out with a different style. And you can place this pretty much in front of any house and it will automatically add a sleep trigger to your map. And she's added her own personal farmhouse to this. So, very nice. Very nice indeed. Now, the next place I want to run to is the shop. For a couple of reasons. One, it's a brilliantly placed and very well done class dealership. It's not just a nondescript building. This is an actual farm shop. This is what you would expect to see if you go into a dealership to buy your equipment. Now remember that I said our equipment is spread out all over the place. Well, it appears that we've just bought a whole bunch of equipment because we start out and a lot of it is parked right here in the showroom floor, ready for us to take home. The biggest piece that I could find is pretty much the Rossel Mass 161, which is a great harvester. I really enjoy this harvester, but it will fit out the door. So just to show you, there's no problems there. You can get the equipment out the door. I know some maps in the past have had issues where um, people have tried to get things out and they're stuck. So. Even the Fent 1050, which is a pretty sizable tractor, it will pop right out that door. No problem whatsoever. So I think at this point, we can safely start a brief drive around, take a look at things. Now, Missy B has given a nod to Oxygen David for providing the lighting for her map, and you can tell just coming out here in the morning, it's 7.20 in the morning, and you can just tell that this is Oxygen David lighting. It looks brilliantly, brilliantly morning. <laughs> it's very, very well done. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, the modding community is actually pretty cool. Now, anybody who uh, follows my series and such, they know how much I appreciate the modders, um, as I'm sure everyone does. I mean, the modders do more for the farming simulator community than just about anybody else. And the reason I say that, well, is simply because, you know, Giants made a very good game. A very good game. But the modders have turned this into an amazing game. Absolutely, hands down, without a question. Thank you, Giants, for giving us a base. But thank you, Modders, for doing the rest. Because, frankly, the Modders are where it's at right now. They are the ones doing the work and bringing this game up to a higher level. So thank you, Modders. Thank you, Missy B Farming Solutions. Thank you, Alien Jim. Thank you, Oxygen David, and so many, many others. I'm just naming them because, well, they are present on this map to some degree. So we're just going to have the brief, brief, brief drive around, and then I think we'll probably do a flyover. There are a couple of specific things that I do want to make sure I point out. And there's so much going on in this map that I'm sure I'm going to miss something. And I'm sure my lovely viewers will be happy to point those out. Eh, not just to me, but to uh, fellow viewers so that we don't miss something important. Obviously, we're moving up into one of the forestry areas right now. And this is interesting. I had not been up here yet. And I like 
how kind of dark and gloomy it gets in there. Yeah, you can really you can really see the lighting effect you know, with, of all these trees packed in side by side. And we'll just do the briefest drive up into the sawmill. But yeah, this that that's what you would expect walking into a forest. I almost get Mirkwood vibes there. <laughs> Never know what you're gonna run into. There might be a goblin hidden there that we just don't know about. This is our sawmill, pretty standard sawmill, about what you would expect. You sell your timber here, obviously, and your wood chips. And we're going to cruise right along. Hit some of the major hot spots. So I'm interested to know, what do you all think? I, I know there's been a lot of excitement, a lot of hype around this map. Um, I do follow Missy B's Facebook page. And as do many, many, many others. And as I said, you know, people have been really psyched to see this map hit Mod Hub. And frankly, I can't blame them. Because, you know, I've always appreciated the quality work in Missy B mods. Look at that view across there with that lighting. Isn't that just spectacular? You know, it's got that morning haze feel to it. Very, very nice indeed. But yeah, she's, you know, she's she's very much a person who has attention to detail, which, you know, anybody who's watched my map tours in the past knows that's um, that's a bit of a sticking point for me. You know, if you can't time take time to make sure that your maps are, are, you know, that you're not taking care of the details, then, you know, it, it starts to feel like you're just trying to crank out something, and so here we have the milkway this would be our dairy and then one of our grain cell points now there are multiple flags scattered all over this and I just noticed the Canadian flag standing up here um, I don't believe that to be a nod to anywhere in particular I mean she specifically said this is a fictional UK based map and I have seen a Scottish flag around as well so I think there's just flags dotted it probably more indicates the owner <laughs> you know, the owner's um, lineage than it does anything about the map. Yeah, as far, you know, based on my first impression, this is, this is beautifully well done. Absolutely beautiful. And as we come to the map edge, if I go much farther, I am going to well, pretty much hose myself. But you can see we do have collisions here, so no sneaking through the hedgerows. No sneaking through at all. But I'm going to show you something about those. Something that I first saw on an alien gym map as well. Oh, and I am in the UK, so I need to get my particular booty on the left-hand side of this map. But yeah, what are your thoughts on Wyther Farms? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to make sure to uh, link Missy B's Facebook page in the mod description, or in the video description down below. You should check her out. One of the things that I've seen her do that I haven't seen anybody do in a long time is she uh, asked recently what people would like to see. And frankly, um, she did not get overwhelmed. I mean, there were a lot. A lot of people, you know, were talking about what they'd like to see. 
in Farming Simulator 19 what mod that she might work on next. I threw up my opinion, something I would like to see. Um, but everybody there's been very respectful of her and the work that she does, so that's good to see. That's one nice thing about the FS19 community is we don't get a lot of jerks. Everybody is, you know, really, really tries to be helpful and kind and considerate. And I'm not going to say that there isn't the odd person out, but for the most part, I find the FS19 community to be very, very thoughtful and considerate. You know, we're just coming through a little housing area here. Very well done, of course. We've got a shop. This is our shop's one of our sell points, just known as the shop. Looks like they're hiring. If you don't want to be a farmer, you could probably work here. And of course, we have our diesel fuel cell point here, also known as shop. And moving right along. I love driving through areas where there's a, a tree canopy like this. Even, even, even bigger tree canopies, if I'm honest. Oh, looks like just another standard. Just another standard, I mean. You know what I mean. Another one of our sale points right here. Our tradition tip-in that we would expect. And now we're getting down to the southwestern corner of the map here pretty quickly. So you can see it's not huge. I mean, it's a, it's a one-times map that's completely filled, as it should be. And if there was ever any question about the nods to Alien Jim, well, right here we've got Alien Grain. And so obviously this would be a grain cell point. And... We've got our spinnery right here also. And that brings us right back down to our other starting farm. Or close to it anyway, because this is the the manure and slurry cell points. You can sell your manure and slurry right here. Multiple cell points packed in right here. Just tons of them. Let's just take a look so we don't miss anything. We've got the barnyard, farm shop, uh, NYD spinners LTD, alien grains, the manure yard, slurry yard. We have a diesel purchase point. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting indeed. And I'll tell you why here in just a second. Although I'm sure some of you know already. Won't well, come as a surprise to some. So the diesel sell point, or the diesel buy point, is not just for buying diesel for your farm. <laughs> Excuse me. Not just for buying diesel just for your farm. You can buy diesel and deliver it and get paid mm, pretty darn well pretty well indeed at least you can on alien jim's map but why would she include it if that was not the choice here as well So we've had a bit of a drive around. Very, very, very good looking map. Although I just... And I really like the way that she's done the outer edges of the map too. I mean, it's, it's you know, not playable area. But, you know, look at that canola field and that open field and that warehouse up on the, up on the hill. That's the outer edge of the map. That's that's not playable area. Nothing you can get to, but it looks fantastic. So, 
Nice job there, Missy B. With all of that said, I think it might be time to do our flyover and just have the briefest of look arounds. Make sure we haven't missed anything. Actually, I want to go down this way because there is a couple spots that I missed that I feel like you should probably at least be made aware of. You can see these are nice big fields. This is a 23 acre, 20, 24 acre area really. A good traffic flow. Now don't expect your workers to do much on these fields because they are packed tight. So you don't have much headland to play with. If you want workers to help, you're going to have to do some headland passes before that's possible. This would be our biogas plant right here, and we automatically own it right out of the gate, thanks to a brilliant map maker, <laughs> in my opinion anyway. Um, pretty standard BGA in the alien gym style. Nice low tip in for your silage or whatever you're selling. And of course, here's your digestate tank right there. This actually very much reminds me of the biogas plant on Mercury Farms by Alien Jim. But yeah, we'll just do the briefest flyover. And finish up at our main farm, I think. I really do like the map edges on this. I think I think she's done exceptionally well doing it the way that she's done. Really makes it look like the map just continues onward and flows forever. And tucked way up here, we've got another sail point. That's way back up in the northeast corner of the map where we were at Titch's Agri. So you could sell up there. Oh, yes. And we might as well move on down this road and just make sure we've got... This is where we began. We didn't really touch on it much, but this would be our animal dealer here. And then bale sales point, obviously. And... Uh, animal barn. And so just to make sure that we've covered all of our sale points, I'm going to go over those quickly. We've got alien grains, all grains, animal barn, biomass, the biogas plant, farm shop, lily grains, the livestock, mar the livestock market, the manure yard, the milkway, NYD spinners, Knight's wood chips, pallet warehouse, Roar's potato shop, the shop, the slurry yard, Sweet Sugar, The Barnyard, and Titch's Agri. That is quite the list of sale points. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, so moving right along, we're just going to look around just a little bit more. You can see just how expansive the forestry area is here and tightly packed. And that is a load of trees in there. An absolute load of trees. And we'll come right back down into our own farmyard again. Our starting farmyard. Like so. And the reason I'm stopping in here real quickly. is because there's one other thing that I want to show you. If you've never done this before or aren't familiar with it, she mentions that these hedgerows are removable and in order to remove them, you need a chainsaw. So you just find a post hidden in the greenery, cut it off, and boom, Bob's your uncle. You've got a gap. Now you do have a piece of wood that you can sell but you also have a stump that will need to be ground out. So keep that in mind. But I think that's going to do it for this map tour of Wyther Farms. Very impressive, very impressive map indeed. Kudos to Missy B for having her first map on Mod Hub. Missy B Farming Solutions. If you're not familiar with her mods, I strongly suggest you check them out. They are very, very well done. 
So, let me know in the comments, what do you think of Wyther Farms? Is it a must-play map? Or are you going to get in here, jump in right away, and start playing? I think it's definitely on my list of maps to play. But everybody's different. That's what makes us great. I do appreciate you coming along and joining me for this tour of Wyther Farms. And until next time, take care.